and I uh, thought I'd show you the finished result of my 250G conversion. So I've got the Cadex uh, Polar here. I like the Polar camera, it works very well in low light. You can see the Cadex over from the Vista there. Here's the rear portion, the printed rear portion. I could print that out of lightweight PLA, but to be honest, it allows me to balance things better. Bit of a rat's nest in here, but you can see that we've got the ESC at the back and the Maytech flight controller in the middle. And it sticks up a little bit, but that doesn't matter because Because the cover allows that just to happen and it's magnets at the back. We've got the uh, ELRS receiver embedded in the wing there and the actual antenna goes up the uh, fin there. So it's very little as you can see in the wind. So it's pretty streamlined. On the other side underneath, that's the uh, that's the GPS unit. It's an M, one of those M10 nano type ones. And you can see that the Vista is at the front and the area behind the camera is all cut out to allow lots of airflow over the Vista. And I always stick a little heat sink on the top just to help get the uh, flow of air out. And there's absolutely loads of room for the 3S Lion, Lion pack that goes in there. And it's a pretty neat job overall. Just waiting for the weather to clear up to fly it. And so as not to strain the cable, the cable from the Vista to the camera is way too long for this install. So I just loop it around here as a bit of blender and take just to lightly hold it against the side out of the way. And again, a bit of blender and tape to hold the cable between the Vista unit and the Maytech. So everything is accessible, and yet we've got a very streamlined result, which I really like. Um, I think this will fly very nicely. You see the cable from the aerial is brought through, and again, a bit of blender and tape over the top just to make sure everything's nice and neat, nothing to get caught. And here we have a new parcel for me. It doesn't seem to be wanting to focus. Got delivered today from Wheel Spin Models. It's a little bit bigger than what I expected and it's from XFly. So they're a, uh, I don't know if you describe them as a, like an FMF, FMS ripoff, but I think their models are rather nice. They're, they tend to uh, make quite nice ones. Let's hope that stays up. So I was thinking for the opening, shall I use this uh, ornate dagger with spiky bits or I just use the box knife. I've used the box knife because this other dagger is, though sharp, is absolutely awful, it's unwieldy. So let's open it up. I've no idea if this comes in like a double wrapper. We'll find out in a moment. Hope you can see. Don't move from the other side. Why not? Ooh! Ooh, I can see what it is, and I'm sure you can now. This is the XFly 1500 millimeter, so one and a half meter wingspan Tasman. And it's a, like a, a stole plane. So I can fly it like I stole it. I know, it's a terrible, terrible car. Let's get out the box here. 
can get this box out of the way. Let's sit back there for the moment. The tali Tasman, I keep calling, wanting to call it a Talisman. No, Tasman, 1500 millimeter. It's got pneumatic tires, high wing, and it's quite an interesting design. Let's see if there's any detail there. Not a lot, 40 amp ESC. Two blade propeller runs on 4S. I particularly wanted a 4S and not a 2S for the simple reasons I've got more 4S batteries than I've got 2S. Ah, there's more information over here. Let's just go through that. It's EPO in main. Flying weight of 1.8 kilograms. It's got digital servos, but they are, I believe, plastic gear. I may change them. Six to 15 minutes, and it takes a 2200 to 3300 milliamp hour battery. So this is the tailplane. Have a look, is it, is it a natural hinge? Yeah, it's a live hinge of EPO. Seems quite nice, very smooth. Very smooth, it's got a carbon spy, carbon spy down the middle, so it's going to be nice and tough. So that's a nice big tailplane with the uh, relief there. When it goes up, it, the wind helps relieve it. Pop, chunky old pop. Ah, I was going to say, I don't know what this is, but now I do, it's a nose cone, I can't get it out, I don't think this can. Nose cone, ready? Love the colour. That would be the spa, it's now under the table. Look at that, lovely wide undercarriage, and with air-filled squishy tyres, great less bounce on landings that'll be the security and cabling push rods lots of nuts and an air valve to fill up the tires if you should want to what we've got here ah wing servo for that servo for flaps it's got flaps and aileron this is a strut, which is plastic. Cabling included, included with lights at the end. Tasman on it. That is a nice looking, nice looking wing with some weird little, are they Vortex generators? They don't look like Vortex, traditional Vortex generators, but uh, that's what they are by the looks of it. The other wing, not surprisingly, a mirror image of the first. One fuselage. It's a wheel at the back, wheel at the back solid. Servo for elevator. Painted, is it painted? That's a sticker. So that's all painted, the rest of it's painted. So we've got stickers for the windows. Little, little details of hinges etc. I wonder if I can pull this out one handed. No, it's not too heavy, it's fairly light. Oops. Try not to give it any hang rush before I start. Yeah, it's quite a good looking thing, little bits of polystyrene from the packaging. Motor, screw to get the cowl off get to the motor connectors now one thing I did notice this doesn't have any this doesn't have any of those uh, oh, what are called connectors for your, for your wings for your wing connectors for uh, voltage so everything's traditional That's something I'm, I, I will probably change I should probably uh, Using the 
MPX connectors, yeah. Everything was traditional in there. Yeah. So I should probably work on getting some connect MPX connector in here so as you fit the wing it, it makes the electrical contacts. But that's not too much trouble. What have we got? We've got the ESC under there. good looking play and this is the final result light on the end red light on the left port side and green light on the starboard she's looking nice and the difference I've made with the wiring is I've used a single 8 pin connector for the uh, wings to fit on so not only do I not have to deal with fiddly little DuPont type connectors, I don't have to worry about getting them the wrong way around. So we've got elevator, rudder, we've got ailerons, and I've got flaps at two position. And I've programmed it with two, three different levels of Expo from near, near 0 to 60% Expo. And I've set uh, rates from 60% to 100%. So I've got a 60, an 80 and 100% on the rates. So I can reduce the throws a little bit. So there we go. Fault cut off. Engine on. Sounds nice. Maiden flight when the weather allows. Today we're covered in snow. <laughs>